My name is Jessica Fishenberry, and I am a folklorist because I had friends who nurtured my passions. Um, when I was an undergraduate, I studied apparel merchandising with a minor in business, but I learned that I was way more interested in understanding cultures and how cultures were affecting the way that people's buying habits um, were being used. So I had a really good friend by the name of Bobby Davis who was studying folklore at Indiana University, and he suggested that I come to one folklore meeting. So I went to a undergraduate and graduate folklore meeting at Indiana University, and I got to meet um, Praveena Shukla, who I ended up talking to with um, for about 30 minutes at a later date. And she told me, I think you'll be perfect for folklore. And she told me to um, take some time, look into the field, and then apply. So about a year after that, I applied to Utah State University with the intention of studying dress as a communicative mode um, in African American communities, focusing on 90s fashion. Um, but as time went on, I realized that I was more interested in learning about actual people. So I changed my emphasis for my thesis to um, African American coal miners' children in Harlan County, Kentucky in the 1950s and the 1960s to get a better understanding of how their oral histories or how their stories can be added to academic literature um, that often overlooks and discounts their experiences. And that's what my current work is.